<laughs> I get more views from BitChute than I do from YouTube. And I don't even have any subscribers. Ain't this the fuckest timeline. Subscribe, goddammit! Well, a new time. Building better worlds. If you don't like Aliens vs. Predator, well, be glad this one isn't directed by that one cuck that sluts out his wife in almost every single movie he's made. Truth be told, the first AVP wasn't all that bad. Sure, it had problems, but the concept of the black people and the vagina mounts killing each other is awesome. I don't want to make the lowest hanging fruit argument of, Ooh, anything's better than Requiem, because that movie is genuinely fucking awful. Honestly, Covenant and Prometheus are better movies than Requiem, and those movies are shit. I have a passing interest and aliens, but god damn have the mighty have fallen hard. How can you go from God's gift to the world to whatever this is? I mean, all I'm saying is Alzheimer's is a serious disease that needs to be taken seriously. Anyways, this game isn't all that bad. Yeah, it has problems, but I don't want to make that argument saying anything is better than Colonial Marines. Like N-word, anything is better than Colonial Marines including this game. Also, if you want to see me do Colonial Marines, then like, comment, and subscribe. <coughs> there are three campaigns in the game for Marines, Aliens, and Predators. Personally, I play Predators first, Aliens second, and Marines third. However, chronologically speaking, the game should be played as Aliens, because that's when the infestation starts, then the Marines, because you're knee-deep in the mess, and then Predators, to clean up the mess. For the review, I will go in chronological order, starting with the aliens. You play as Specimen 6, who I would assume is a xenomorph with heightened intelligence or some shit, I don't know. First level is just a really long ass tutorial for the controls and the mechanics of the xenomorph. Later on, Mama Mort screams while on her period, so you must go to her in her time of need. Level ends with you and the rest of the Xenomorphs and Mama Morph escaping this facility, whatever the place is. Please, for the love of God, don't ever look up Xenomorph Rule 34. I warned you. Just another bug who This level starts out with the labyrinth and the sewers. Here you'll come accustomed to the cheap ass alien mechanics. Basically transition yourself to the ceiling, wait for the marines to walk by, drop to the floor, then instant kill. Shit, even the marines with the flamethrowers are hardly a threat at all. While I had fun playing as the Xenomorph, this is the one problem I had with the aliens. It's really fucking easy. The only difficulty here is that you are not a tank. That and your health regeneration is extremely slow. Once you get to this part, you're supposed to climb up to the shaft in the middle. Too bad the ejective marker went away and I kept running around the fucking place and checking the ejectives menu don't even tell you shit. Then in this big ass area with all the marines shows just how broken the xenomorph is. Just climb on the wall, go behind the marines and grab. It even works when the marines are alerted, just jump me right behind them. I had a hard time with the machine room. I kept on dying and dying because there's very few shadows in the room, and the only consistently dark place there is, is the ceiling. But the ceiling is too far away to grab the marines. That is, until I realized that you can just simply skip the room entirely and just open up the door. Gee, I'm a fucking retard. After that, you'll come across this fan part. I'm pretty sure most people died here multiple times. The game doesn't tell you it, but what you're supposed to do is just sprint down the shaft. Be careful once you're down the shaft as there's two turrets waiting for a good old DP. The rest of the level is easy. Just destroy whatever these things are and sneak past the marines. You don't even need to kill them either. Just run to the ejective marker and win. Lovely level design, I know. 
You get shat out into the wide spaces of a jungle. This level really doesn't work all that well for the Xenomorph as there's hardly any shadows. It's significantly more open and there's really not a whole lot of cover for you to hide behind. This level is not much of a jungle as it is a swamp and the last half of the level is in a fucking compound. For the jungle part I recommend just for going killing the marines all together unless you're able to distract them with whatever building you're closest to. I also forgot to mention that there's these containers you can destroy. These are the game's generic collectible. You get a reward if you're able to collect all collectibles in the campaigns, but those seem to be just achievements. If you don't think that's worthwhile, then just simply ignore them. Once you're in the compound, you have to get inside this small building, and you go into the small building by going through this glory hole at the back of the building. After that, one of the bastard marines will trick you into a building, trapping you inside. This part is actually quite hard to get out of, even with the lights disabled, as there's four marines on either side and one of the bastards got a flamethrower. I got lucky here, because the dumbass marines gave me enough space to run out like Usain Bolt. Once you're inside that main building, be careful, because one of the workers there is a fucking jihadist. Level 5 puts you in the Ancient Predator Ruins. You actually have genuine challenge now as the enemies here are a bunch of androids. I know these things have a real name but I forgot. I haven't watched Aliens in like 40 years or something. So I'm just gonna call them androids. The androids are far more resilient and cannot be instantly killed. If you grab an android that is low on health. In the next era you finally fight against not one but two predators. These predators are not that hard, but they sure as shit are annoying as fuck because they jump all over the fucking place. The only way I was able to beat them was when they were on the ground or when they are ready to jump. After the two predators, you'll fight an elite predator. Hopefully it's a good fight to send off the last alien level. Yeah, this is the quality of boss battles in the game, folks. And at the end, you have a face hugger mouthfuck a predator, which of course means pred alien. And then you molt into a Praetorian, and that's the end of the alien campaign. First level of the Marines is similar to the first Aliens level, but way worse. It's extremely long and drawn out with no build up to the first Xenomorph. In fact, you don't even encounter the first Xenomorph until about 7 minutes into the level. The rest of the encounters are just kind of ass, but that's mainly due to your shitty ass pea shooter with unlimited ammo. It takes almost 10 minutes in until you finally get the pulse rifle. Hey, want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Then you go to a dance club for whatever reason, and then you actually get to use the pulse rifle for the first time. The only good thing here is that your underbarrel attachment is a fucking grenade launcher instead of a shotgun. Not that I'm complaining. Oh yeah, and you also have like a little soy boy jump. <laughs> what the? That's so fucking sad. This level doesn't pick up until the very end when the xenomorphs start running down the halls like that one scene in the movie. Once the xenomorphs start to overrun the place, you have to fall back to yet another fucking elevator. The game tells you to sprint and your sprint is even worse than that of Tess Holiday. And the sad fact is that you're supposed to be a fucking marine. You get dragged by a black person in level 2, and you start out with no weapons. Gee golly gosh, ain't I fucking excited. First weapon you pick up is a shotgun. And not just any shotgun, but a double barrel shotgun that can fire both barrels at the same time with right mouse button. This is the first time where you get introduced to the face huggers. It's a penis. Fortunately, the face huggers are piss ass easy to deal with, but their annoyance comes from the fact that whenever they jump on you, it takes you down to your last block of health for whatever reason. After doing all the boring shit in the building, the aliens start to bum rush over the bridge. 
This part is annoying, as all you really have is the pistol to back you up because you have no ammo for the shotgun. You finally get the pulse rifle again once you start hacking the terminal. This is where the game will constantly tell you to block the Xeno attacks, but the game doesn't tell you that you cannot block heavy attacks at all. Most of the marine levels, if not all of them, suffer from the same shit as Homefront. Just long ass fucking sections of pressing buttons and walking up to shit just to pat it out. At the end, you'll come across a hive and a flamethrower. I don't recommend the flamethrower, it's just faster to kill the Xenos with any other weapon, and the ammo consumption on it is very high. You can't even tap fire it, as every tap always drains 25 fuel. After the hive is the Xenomorph Queen. This is very disappointing, because not only does the battle suck, but it's also anticlimactic, as you meet the Xenomorph Queen so fucking early and the boss battle is hardly any better than the one in Colonial Marines. I guess you can say he has, uh, nothing to hide. Level 3 is the Marsh again. The one good thing about this level is the scoped rifle. Easily one of the best weapons in the game. It can highlight Xenomorphs through the scope and can kill most enemies within just a matter of hits. There's not really a lot to say about this level, other than the fact that it really loves baiting the Predator, and the combat androids become a thing in the end. Unfortunately. Back at the ancient ruins again, with a new xenomorph that can spit. At a glance, it's hard to tell what xenomorph is what, but I noticed the spitter xenomorphs have a reddish-brownish tint to them, and they shoot their goo pretty far. There's a reason why people say good girls swallow. Once you get inside the ruins, the combat androids become the main enemy from here on out. The androids can be pretty ridiculous. They soak up bullets as if they're giving them some good feelings, if you know what I mean. And the androids with the shotguns and scope rifle can easily kill you within a matter of hits. Here you can pick up a smart gun. This part's alright but could be better. But what sucks here is, is that the smart gun is quite inaccurate at longer ranges and there's hardly any ammo for the smart gun either. After the first wave of the xenomorphs you'll run out of ammo for the smart gun. So honestly with every time you come across a smart gun I suggest just leaving it. I guess you can say he has, uh, lost his mind. This part is fucking long and slow as shit, and you have to escort this fat bastard all the way to the other side of the ruins. Most of the xenomorphs here are the spitters, which are perfectly ripe for the scope rifle. At the end of the level is a fight with the predator. As long as you pay attention to the motion tracker and have the scoped rifle, the metal vagina mouth is ridiculously easy. And then you have to rescue the Mexi Thought to give her an abortion that goes against her Catholic teachings. Level 5 makes me want to stick a drill bit in my pee hole. It has a long ass start until those fucking annoying drones come ruin your day. You're here to put Thought Kila in some surgical bed to remove the chest burster. The android gives you like a 10 hour Joe Biden-esque lecture, and after contemplating the benefits of suicide, you finally get into the action. The xenomorphs start flooding the place and the androids can hop on barbed wire for all I care. Sometimes I like to let the xenomorphs take the hits against the androids before taking them out myself. The real Dark Souls shit comes when you're in the elevator room. Prepare for your asshole to get blown out. Here you have to fight a fucking Praetorian. The area here ain't gonna do you shit. It's U-shaped in design, so you got fuck all room to maneuver. I could only just imagine how hard this part is on Nightmare. If you don't know, on Nightmare difficulty, there are no checkpoints. So if you die, you have to restart the entire level all over again. Hats off to you if you do attempt it, however. I recommend getting rid of the Xenomorph ankle biters first, and then start spamming your sculpt rifle and grenade launcher on the Praetorian. 
While the grenade launcher is the most effective, for the love of God, do not shoot it at close range. You will instantly die regardless of how much health you have. And then after you kill the Praetorian, you go down the elevator into the pyramid. In my opinion, this is probably the best looking area in the game. I mean, it's nice. It looks cool. Looks like I'm in hell. But make no mistake, this area is just as ridiculous as the last part. Here is a long ass bridge with fuck tons of xenomorphs waiting to make sweet love to you. There's a smart gun on the left side of the area you start in, but I don't recommend it because, uh... Yeah, you not only gotta fight a Praetorian, but two of the fat fuckers. When you spawn in, turn on the turret. Then get as much distance between you and the Praetorians as much as possible. Then start pelting them with the scoped rifle and grenades. Then kite them around the turret or just simply go all the way back to the stairs and finish them off. Oh, what the fuck, I'm black? This part can also suck my sack. Most of the androids have shotguns and scoped rifles and can easily one-shot you regardless of health. You also have to kill all the androids to proceed, meaning if you blow off the legs of the android but didn't kill him, you actually have to go back and find out where he is to finish him off. To make matters worse, they don't even pop up on the motion trackers, so say hello to running around in circles like 50 times before the androids thinks you're a target again. At the end is a boss battle with a Waylon android. Just spam grenades and win. Final cutscene is the real Waylon talking about the alien homeworld. It's kinda odd how there's fuck all media in regards to the alien homeworld. And truth be told, I wouldn't have mind a sequel to this. First Predator level is a long ass tutorial. Nothing to see here. I guess you can say he, uh, didn't see what he was doing. You're in the jungle again, and this plays better for the Predator than any other species. The Predator probably has the best executions, but one problem you'll run into is that the executions are very long and you are not invincible while you do them. In this level, you'll notice two problems with the Predator. One is that you cannot sprint at all, and two is, is that you don't have any jump attack when you're above a target. So really, all you have for range attacks is the plasma gun, or just simply go up and Mike Tyson the Marines. Another annoying thing is that in the water in the swamp here automatically removes your cloak. Drives me in fucking sane. When you go and set a dead predator to Allah Akbar itself, you get access to the proximity mines. However, at no point in the game did I ever find a reason to actually use these things. Motherfucker. This level is terrible for the Predator, as the main advantage of the Predator is having a height advantage, but this area doesn't really have anything for added height, and if there is, it's directly above you, meaning that you have to go out of your way to even jump up to that area. In fact, half of the level doesn't even have any verticality to it. Once you're in the refinery, Zeno start attacking the Marines. I just simply skip this part because I can. Before the hive, you get access to the smart disc. Unfortunately, you can't pin the enemies to the wall like that one dumb bitch in Requiem. Instead, it's basically a ricocheting disc. It's actually quite a good alternative to the plasma gun if you ever run out of energy. Also, this level is short as fuck. One ugly motherfucker. First part makes me want to shriek like that one bitch in that one TikTok. <laughs> this is a puzzle platform. To make matters worse, the pattern of the platform seems to be randomized. I don't know what I did, how I did it, but I just simply rushed through it as fast as I could and I got up to the top. After that, you get the ancient mask with a vision mode that allows you to see the aliens. 
I don't know if it's my FOV changer or me playing on DirectX 11, but the vision modes for the Predator are all kinds of fucked up, so I just simply don't even bother. Halfway through the level, you'll be in the ancient ruins. Again. This part is easy as fuck as most of the enemies are marines and not the androids, thank god. And there's a lot of shit to jump on and places to hide and... At the end is a fight with the Praetorian. Easy peasy. Oh, fuck yes, yeah, son, the combi stick. <laughs> You're one ugly motherfucker. Unfortunately, most of the enemies here are the fucking androids again. However, they're not as annoying to deal with here. Just simply cloak and throw your combi stick. Once you get into the facility, it gets a lot harder. There's practically no verticality, and most of the enemies have shotguns. Health shards here are also hard to come by. Despite being the Predator, you sure as shit ain't a tank much like the movies like to portray them as. What a fucking finale to this game. You're back in the pyramid, and you're going to kill the Pred alien now. So how does this fight go? After all, it's the penultimate level in the game. Easy peasy. Despite me shitting on the game with how bad it is, honestly, I kinda enjoy it. I actually enjoyed my time with it, unlike someone else. <laughs> some, unfortunately, some of the levels really do not work with certain species, and it's such a shame they reuse multiple levels without changing a few things to actually make it more suitable for them. At the end of the day, this is far more aliens than whatever shit show this was. There's also multiplayer, but unfortunately, the multiplayer is more dead than Joe Biden's brain cells. So, you know what? I'll give this game an Aliens 3 out of Requiem. <laughs> Subscribe, goddammit!